Hey, hey y'all, welcome, welcome back, back to Rooster's, Rooster's Recipe. Recipe. Okay, so today on Rooster's Recipe, I'm going to show you how to make my very favorite crock pot mac and cheese. This recipe was originally inspired by Trisha Yearwood. So we're gonna get started on that. And if you're wondering where Mr. Rooster is today, he's been really, really busy at work lately. So if you haven't seen him over here on the channel, that is why, but I'm hoping he gets home in time for the mac and cheese to be done and give us a little taste test and let us know what he thinks. All right, so I'm gonna start by using a six quart crock pot. I get a lot of questions about this crock pot. It is from Target, it's the Hearth and Hand, and it also is the crock pot brand. Okay, so this recipe actually calls for about eight ounces of noodles, but I just like to add in a little bit more. The cheese that I use is more than enough. So I add a little bit more pasta. All right, next we are going to add one can of evaporated milk. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add about a cup and a half of milk. We're gonna add two eggs beaten, a half a stick of butter melted. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, and then of course, a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna take about four cups of shredded cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna pour it in to my crock pot. And you're supposed to cook this on low for about three hours, but my crock pot, it usually only takes about two, two and a half hours. So just keep an eye on it. So mix it together all like this. Y'all, this is the easiest crock pot mac and cheese in the world, and it's so delicious. I actually usually like to use shell noodles, I didn't today, but it doesn't matter. Either way, you can use any kind you like. Okay, after you mix everything up, you're going to take the rest of your cheese. You're gonna need a total of about five cups and just sprinkle it on top evenly like this. And then I'm gonna sprinkle paprika on top of the cheese and we will be ready to start cooking. Measure with love, baby. Always measure with love. All right, so let's pop the top on our crock pot, as I like to say. And you are going to cook this on low for three hours. Like I said, my crock pot usually just takes about two hours, so keep checking on it. But if you're wondering where these candles are from, I absolutely love them. I just got them from Amazon. They've been working great so far, and they look so cozy at night. So I'll try to remember to link them for you below, but I will be back when this is done, and Alex will probably be home from work to taste it for us. All right, Alex is home for work and it's been about two hours or so so let's check on the mac and cheese and if it's done let's let him do a little taste test Ooh, it's looking yummy so I'm gonna go ahead and stir it all up together and this is why you want to put non-stick cooking spray on it because it will stick if you don't see mine's even sticking a tad it is pretty much done. I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 more minutes, I would say, and then we're gonna let Alex try it. All right, so it's been about 15 more minutes. Let's give Alex a little bowl to try. Alex is home from work and he's going to try this mac and cheese. Really good. It's really good? Yes. You like it? Yes, I really do. Good. Very um, cheesy and the noodles are very soft. If the husband likes it, it's always a win for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, stay tuned. We will have more recipes, especially in the slow cooker throughout the fall and the winter. Also, stay tuned for our videos every Friday. We usually have several recipes in those videos. Subscribe if you're new. See y'all next time. Bye. Bye.